Okay, in this video, I'm going to set up MySQL replication on CentOS 7. And in here, I'm going to set up MySQL master slave replication. So for that, I have created two virtual machines and I have named them as MasterDB and SlaveDB. And this is the host entry. So as this is the master slave replication, uh, whatever data we write on the master server, it is going to replicate on the slave and it is not going to be vice versa. Okay, so now I will log into my machines. So the very first thing we need to do is install the MySQL server. And in CentOS 7, it is called MariaDB, which is basically a fork of MySQL. So let's install uh, MariaDB on both of our machines. So that's done. Uh, I will quit out of my slave. Okay. Let's start and enable the MariaDB service. Let's check the port. By default, the port is 3306. Okay, that's running. Now we need to set the root password. So uh, let's use MySQL secure installation. Enter. Yes, set the root password. Enter, enter, done. Okay. So now I can log in uh, using the root user and providing the password. Uh, if I don't want to use the password in my root home directory, I can create a hidden file named my.cnf username and the password. In my case, that's root. Save and quit. And now I can log in just using my SQL command. Okay. So in order to test our application, uh, we need to first have a database to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some databases and I'm going to create some tables. And let's do that. So let's say DB1 and DB2. Okay. Show databases so we have created db1 and db2 and these are the default database okay let's create some tables uh, let's say country and name okay Let's create a table for DB2 as well. Uh, let's say city name. Okay. So use DB1 show tables. So now we have one table and we don't have any data inside that table. So let's insert some values. China. Um, now if I do select star from country so now we have these values India UK and China so we have created a database to work with so let's go ahead and take a dump of this database and let's copy that to our slave so I'm gonna first log the table so plus tables with read lock Okay, MySQL dump db1 
Uh, I'm just gonna use db1 for this demo, so I'm just gonna take a dump of db1 of SQL. Okay, we have the SQL file. Let's copy that to our slave. So I have updated my host entry. So what I can do is db1.sql and slave db slash root. Okay, that's done. Let's log in back. Unlock the tables. Okay. Let's quit now and let's go to the replication configuration part. The first thing you have to do is go inside etc my.cnf which is the main configuration file of MariaDB. In here under mysqld tag you need to mention the server id and I'm also going to mention logbin and I'm going to name that log file as mysqlbin. So these are the two options that I'm going to use. Uh, if you want to see more options, let me just save and quit. So if you go to this directory, user, share and mysql. So you see this mysmall.cnf, mymedium.cnf. So if you take a look at this, uh, mysmall.cnf. So you have all these options to use. So I'm just using a server ID and Logbin, that's it. So I've used server ID as one and I've mentioned my logbin. So the server ID of the master should be always lesser than the slave. So what I might mean by that is uh, if your master has a server ID of one, then your slave can have any other value than one, uh, which is greater than one. Okay, so let's save and quit. Let's restart the service. MariaDB. Okay, that's done. Let's log back into our database and let's see show master status. Cool. So now we have the bin file and we have the position which is 245. Um, now we need to enable the replication. So let's do that. Grant replication. Slave on two, and there is a system user called REPL. And after that, you need to mention the IP address of your slave. So in my case, I can use the host name, but I prefer using IP address. So fifty one is the IP address of my slave. And let's set the password. I'm setting the password as REPL. Okay, flush privileges. Let's see show master status. So you see the position has been moved. So we have to basically now restart the service. Okay, MySQL minus E show master status. Cool, so position is back to normal and we have the bin file. So that's it on the master side. Let's go to our slave. So we have this db1.sql file and we have installed the MariaDB. Let's start and enable the service. Okay. Um, let's create the my.cnf file for easy access. Okay. We can log in. Cool. So now we have this SQL file. So first we have to create a database and we have to restore this SQL file. So let's do that. My SQL minus E create database. Let's say DB1. Show 
show databases so now we have this db1 let's reshow the sql file so mysql the name of the database and restore this file okay mysql minus e so if i now do a select query uh, country i should be able to see the data cool so now i have the data so let's go to our etc my.cnf first and on the client we only need to mention as you know the server id Two, and I will also specify one more option basically which will tell that replicate all the tables inside the database so replicate while do table equals the name of the database and percentage okay save and quit let's try to restart the service okay that's done let's check the status that's up and running cool now we need to log into our mysql so now we need to tell slave that who is the master what is the master ip address and what is the username what is the password and we need to pass this information as well so that it starts synchronizing from this uh, file and from this position so let's do that change master to master underscore host I will mention the IP address which is 51 uh, sorry 41 master underscore user we have mentioned the REPL user password is REPL master log file and we need to give this file and master log position which is 245 so I hope that will work and we have not mentioned the port number because we have not changed the port number it is using the default port number so that's fine okay enter cool let's start the slave okay so now i can check the status using show slave status and that's giving me a lot of information so i have to use backslash capital g and there you go and in here the parameter you want to monitor is this parameter seconds behind master so in here you need to look, look for this parameter which is seconds behind master you need to see that this value is zero uh, as there is no replication so it's zero it's fine but if you see uh, something like null which is like literally written nu double l null that means there is some misconfiguration on your uh, setup so you have to look for that and this parameter is basically tells that how much of a lag is there between your master and the slave so it basically shows you the synchronization difference okay and that's the master host that's the username that's the bin file and that's the tables cool now we can test our changes uh, our setup so what i'm going to do is let's do mysql minus a select star from db1.country So we have these data so let's try to insert some data on our master and let's see if that replicates so mysql i will log in here insert into db1.country values let's say usa um, romania let's do the select query boom we have the data so that's working so we have successfully configured our replication so if you go and see full process list um, let me maximize this so you see this waiting for master to send event the command is connect and it is using a thread 
a dump thread basically uh, used by a system user cool on our master show process list and you see that slave db.example.com has uh, used this command which is bin lock dump and it has sent all the bin lock to the slave okay cool so I guess that's all I wanted to show you so I hope you guys find this video useful um, you can definitely play around with those uh, my.cnf file and see what works for you and according to your environment and your needs um, anyway so that's all I wanted to show you see you guys in the next video take care bye bye